everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Donna and today I am doing a review swatches and tutorial into the new ColourPop tie-dye makeup collection I have all three palettes in this nice little palette vault packaging here I also have the one of the highlighters in your trip and I have one of the glosses here the luxe gloss in the shade overnight so if you'd like to see how to create this look using the in a trans palette then keep on watching all my socials are listed down below, so make sure to follow me there so that you can see all the upcoming news and what I'm going to be reviewing. Be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Make sure to check the time bar here because I've added timestamps to this video so that you can skip ahead if you just want to see swatches of the palette or if you just want to see a makeup tutorial like on how to do this eye look, you can skip ahead and do that. So first, I'm going to be showing you the palettes here and I'm going to be inserting swatches as well. So this is the vault that it came in here, and I've already kind of taken them out just because they're kind of a pain to take in and out all the time. But if you buy all three, this is how they come, and it's really cute. I haven't seen this before, at least with ColourPop. And the first one here is the Aura Out, and it looks like this. So what I really like about this and how these palettes are different is because they're different than, say, the typical nine pan monochrome shadows, right? I'll just flash a picture up here. So you can actually create a lot of different looks, just even going down straight into these or even going across or whatever you want to do. But you have some minty greens, you know, some lime greens, and then you got some peaches here. So... Um, that's how they've kind of structured these color stories a little bit differently than other ones. The other one here, this is the In a Trance palette, and it's the one I'm wearing currently exclusively. I only used um, colors from here. I used about five or six from here, so quite a bit of the shadows, and I was very happy with it. And the next one is called Miss Bliss. That's actually really hard to say. And it's this one here. And you know what? It reminds me of like when you just first impression of the Baby Got Peach palette. But when you see it in person, they are deeper tones than the Baby Got Peach palette. So if you have that one and you're wondering about this one, if you like that one, I think you'd really like this one too. It is a little bit different. Not like crazy different, but enough different. But again, see, it's got the pinks in here, but the other one doesn't have. And now I'm going to insert the swatches right here of all three of these palettes, along with the highlighter here, You're a Trip, and the new gloss that I got in Overnight. All right, so now that the swatches are done, it's on to the tutorial. So now it's gonna go into the next clip, uh, and I only have a full face of makeup on, and I'm missing the eyes, the lips, and I have no highlighter on because I'm saving it for this set. So here we go, I'm gonna start with the eyes, and I have the three palettes right here in front of me, and I think because of like the shirt I got going on here, it's gotta, I'm gonna stand up and show you. 
It's got a nice little scenery here and a bridge and flowers. And I feel like this would just go so well. This is the In a Trance. The other ones are great and I might dip into them if I need one of the colors, but I'm gonna stick to this. And I'm gonna have a picture of the palette up next to me um, the entire time I'm doing the look. So there we go. I just threw on some liner and just some mascara. And I really love the look. It took a little while to blend in these colors. Let me just grab the palette. Uh, I went in, as you saw, with um, this one first, this, and then over here, I used this one on the lid, this one on the outer lid. Um, it took a while to build these up, but once they started building, then they um, they really worked well together. They didn't actually mix them to like, create a different color. I can still see where I put the blue and I can still see where I put the purple, so that's really nice. This color, looks a lot darker than what it actually is. I just put it not even in the outer corner. It was just kind of like, I don't know, the last like little bit right here. You saw where I placed it and that's where I kept it. And it just created this really nice shimmer, but you can still see the matte. So I'm gonna close my eyes here so you can kind of see what's going on. And then at the very end, you saw I put setting spray and then I put the glitter down. And the glitter is 
quite intense and you have to be very careful with that because I'm sure that's not eye safe because it's quite bigger. That's why I put the spray so it would really have something to adhere to. And now I'm going to go into some gloss. So I got this one here, this Lux Gloss by ColourPop. This is called Overnight. I'm not sure if it was part of this set, but it was on the same screen where, you know, with this whole tie-dye collection. So I thought I would get it. I definitely love the scent of that. I don't think I have a ColourPop gloss like this, so this is kind of like a first impression with it. It's got some nice pigment. That is a nice color. And it goes well with the eyes, even though it's not in the purple family, but still peachy nude enough that it kind of works. This gloss would look amazing with this palette. This is the Miss Bliss but it's going with this right now. And then the last thing uh, is the highlighter. So if you saw my blog, I talked about how I ordered this and I ordered the one manifest that. And then I got the shipping confirmation that everything was on its way and that's great. And then two days later, I'm getting another email from ColourPop saying they shipped the highlighter. And I'm like, but you said you shipped it with the whole order. Apparently this has been mislabeled. This is not the, is not the purple one. Let me see it. No, see, look. This is the other one that is called, I'm not sure, I'll put it here at the bottom. This is the second one in the set. I didn't buy this, but it's been mislabeled. And so ColourPop just took it upon themselves and they're sending me the correct one. So in a couple days, I'll actually get the purple one um, that I actually wanted. So thanks to ColourPop for doing that. That's amazing customer service. I was like, why are they sending me it? Are they just being super nice? And then I saw the email explaining what happened. So this is the other shade. As you can see, it's got that kind of marbly effect here. And I'm going to try it because we're trying out this whole line. And I'll let you guys know when I receive the other one. I'll probably put a post on my like Facebook or my Twitter. So make sure you're following me there. Kind of place that smell. I don't know what it is. It smells like soap. Let me swatch a little bit of this. It's not as blindingly, you know, bright like a highlighter usually is, but it's still really nice. It has that nice bit of an orange tone to it. So I don't have anything like that. So um, really nice. It's nice and flat. It's a little big, but you know, it's a big pan size. There we have it. That is the complete look using the new ColourPop tie-dye collection. And again, I focused on the In a Trance palette. This is the one I used exclusively. I actually didn't dip into any of the others, but I can't wait to try them out. Comment down below and tell me what is your favorite ColourPop palette because I've shown you my whole eyeshadow collection. If you haven't checked that out, go check out all my videos. I have so many out and I have so many palettes, but I would love to hear from you guys about what your favorite palette is from ColourPop. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, then you should check out the other ones that are popping up right here. I go really in depth into my entire makeup collection and I do a lot of reviews and get ready with me using all sorts of new makeup and old favorites. Thank you so much for watching right to the end and I hope you and your families are doing well and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.